Hey everybody, welcome to CR Entry Designers. This is Chetan, and in this tutorial, we are going to create a tire ring. So, without further ado, let's get started. To make the model, you need to add a cylinder. So, Shift A, add a cylinder, and we will go with the 30 words. After that, go to the side view, and then you need to rotate this cylinder into the 90 degree, as like this. Then scale this cylinder along the y axis, like this. After that, go to the date mode. Then turn on your extreme mode, select these faces and then press I for the insert operation. Then you need to scale these faces along the Y axis, so S and then Y. And scale them like this. Then use the insert operation at there. And then scale it down like this. After that you need to select these face loops. And then X to delete them. Select these edge loops and then right click breach edge loop as like this you need to select these faces so press s and then y and then scale them along the y axis now you need to select these edge loops and then right click breach edge loops after that we need to go to the face mode and you need to select the faces like this and three faces from this part also after selecting the faces, you need to right click and then breach faces. It will create a breach in these faces. Then same thing you need to do with remains. So deselect three faces, then start your selection. After that you will get this kind of pattern which looks pretty well. And now you need to add loop cut on it. So just add a center loop cut like this. After that you need to select this loop cut with the shift alt select. And then you need to move these loop cuts along the y axis like this. After that go to the object mode, apply the scale and then add a bevel on this loop cut as like this so you can add the bevel like this and give the right bevel width at there and i will add three segment bevel at there which looks pretty well now you need to select this outer face loop and then e to extrude it and then scale it along the x and z axis it's like this and now the next thing which we are going to do we need to go to the front view turn on your extra mode then select these faces and then press i for the insert operation and just add a small insert operation at here as like this okay the next thing we need to add a sub d modifier on it so add that subdivision surface modifier and you will get this kind of form which is not bad and we need to work on it little bit more to get the good results at there so how we can do that we need to add few loop cuts which will support this structure so that's why i add a loop cut like this we can keep it as it is but we won't get that sharpness on these spokes so that's why we need to add the loop cut as like this and now you can see we are getting the sharpness at there but we are destroying that circle so how we can solve that issue so that's why you need to select these face loops and just scale it along the x and y axis as like this and then you can add a loop cut at here and then you can add one loop cut at here after that you need to add a center loop cut like this and here you need to merge these words together and same thing you need to do at the back side also merge these words at the center and then you can dissolve these edge loops so we will get a good circular design at there and we will get that hardness on the spokes also make sure you merge those words on the flat surface so it will be very good for you if you are going to merge the words on somewhere here on the curved surface you will face a difficulty with it so that one thing you need to keep in mind same thing we are going to do for all the spokes 
so we will get that hardness on the spokes and we will also get this curvedness on that cylindrical form So in this way you can get this kind of designs, you can experiment with your modeling skill, you can see the topology of this model which looks pretty well and we are getting the decent form out of it. So that's it for today, thanks for watching, if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, bye bye, see so you next video, take care.